Okay, in this video, we are going to solve a very interesting question under vectors. So the question is saying the three vectors A, B, and C are shown. Find the magnitude and direction of a vector D, which when added to these three vectors will give a zero resultant. Okay? So now, I believe you know how to resolve a vector into x component as well as the y component. Now to give just a recap, if you are trying to resolve any vector into x component, for example let's say we have vector a. So if you are trying to resolve a vector a into x component it's going to be the x component of vector a, the, the vector cos the angle. If I'm trying to resolve it into y component it's supposed to be the vector sin the angle. Now to mention few we have to understand that whenever we're talking about vectors, we are measuring the angles from positive x-axis. So this is positive x, this is positive y. So the angle is supposed to be, uh, the angle which you are supposed to use is supposed to come from this line all the way until it touches the vector. So like in the case of b, vector b, we are going to use a 45. In the case of vector a, it's supposed to come from this line all the way until it touches there. So we know that a straight line is 180. Okay? That is east uh, toward west. Then now at this point we have to come from this point. Then it has to go there until there. So that one is going to be a 270. Here is 270 plus a 60. Okay. And the vector D which we don't know. Now they are saying that if we add vector A plus B plus C plus D. The answer has to be 0. That will be the resultant. Okay. Now it is very very important for us to resolve each vector into x and y component. So we have four vectors. Okay? So let's start resolving these vectors into components. So we're going to start with a. So ax is going to be equal to, we know that it's supposed to be a cos theta. So what is our vector a? Our vector a is 210. Then cos the angle here, this is this, uh, when the vector is going toward uh, toward the west or toward the, we can say in negative x direction, the angle is 180. So here the angle is 180. Okay, so this is going to give us uh, a 210 cos 180 is giving me negative 210. So I'm going to put this here, negative 210 meters. I'm done with the x component. Now I'm going to go to the y component. Ay is going to be a sine theta. So Ay is going to be equal to the a is um, 210, then sine 180. So we don't have any sign in this line. So you can punch 210 sine 180 is going to give us a 0. So Ay is equal to 0. So after resolving A, go to the next vector. We have also B. So Bx is going to be equal to the B cos the theta. Bx is going to be the B is 180 cos the angle is 45. So we're going to say that 180 cos 45, which is going to be uh, 170, 127.5. Uh, 28 is 0 0.279 but I've just rounded off so my by my bx is 127.28 meters so we also need to find the by so the by is going to be we are going to say that this is going to be by is going to be equal to the b sine theta so by is going to be equal to the b is 180 then you have sine theta is 45 so 45 is in between the uh, 90 so the answer we're going to get the same one so if you punch 180 sine 45 we are getting the same answer as 127.28 okay so let's go to c now so c x is going to be c 
equals the theta. So which one is C? C is this one. So for us to get the angle, the angle has to come from this line all the way until it touches that line. So we know that from this point all the way to this point is 270. So 270 plus 270 plus uh, 16, it is 330. Meaning that the angle for this one is 300 and, uh, 330. 330 degrees. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say that CX is going to be equal to uh, 110 cos 330 degrees. So this is going to give us 110 cos 330 which is a 95.2 uh, is supposed to be in two significant figures. So you can even put three significant figures, or I mean three decimal places and not significant figures. So it's going to be 95.26. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the C here. I'm going to say that CX is 95.26. Let's go ahead and find the CY. So to find the CY is going to be CY is going to be equal to C sine theta. So CY is going to be the C is uh, 1, the C is uh, 110, sine the angle is, uh, we have found 330 degrees. So CY is going to be 110 sine 330. So I'm getting a negative 5, 5 meters. Okay, so I'm going to say that my CY is negative 5, 5 meters. Now, we need also to find the D. Now, D we don't know. It's the one we are trying to find. So, D we are going to say that we are going to have just the DX, which we don't know. The DY we also don't know. Let's now go ahead and find the resultant. They are saying that if we add these two, the resultant is going to be zero. Meaning that that is the vector now. So, we can say that the arc component, the x component of the resultant is going to be the r cos the theta. But we know that the r is 0. So meaning that the r x is going to be, even if we don't know the, the angle, but we know that this is 0. So 0 times everything which we are going to have, zero, we are still going to get a 0. Okay? Meaning that our r x is going to be equal to 0. Our r y is going to be also to add to 0. So now we know that we need to add the x component alone and the y component alone. So what we are going to do now is we are going to add the x component and we are going to say that the rx is going to be equal to the ax plus bx plus cx plus dx. But we know the rx is 0. The ax is uh, negative 210 plus the bx is... Uh, 127.28 plus the CX is 95.26 plus DX. We are trying to find the DX. So we are going to say that this is going to be 0 is going to be equal to. So we have negative 210 plus 127.28 then plus 95.26. Okay, then we also have, uh, this is what we have only, and then this is giving us positive 12.54 plus dx. We want to make dx as a subject of formula. I'm going to shift this to the other side. We're going to have negative 12.45 is equal to dx. Meaning that the x component of the d, x, uh, of the d is what? Is negative 12.45. Let's now go ahead and find the y component. Now, to find the y component, we need to add the y comp all the y components which we have. So it's going to be the ry is going to be the ay plus by plus cy plus dy. So the ry is 0, the ay is 0, plus the by is 127.28 plus CY, CY is negative 5, 5, and then we have the DY which we are trying to find. So what, are we, what we are going to do, we are going to say 
0.28 minus 55. 5. So this is going to give me 0 is going to be equal to 72.28 has to be plus dy. Our goal is to find the dy. I'm going to shift this guy to the other side. So I'm going to have uh, negative 72. 0.28 is equal to dy. So I have found now my dy. Okay. So my dy is now negative 72.28. Now I no longer need this. I want to find the, the magnitude and the direction of the d. So what I'm going to do is we know that if we have the x and y component to find the, res the resultant the, or the magnitude, we are supposed to say that the vector d is going to be the square root of the dx squared plus the dy squared. So this vector d is going to be equal to the square root of the dx is a negative 12.54 squared plus negative 7.2.2. 2, 8, now we square it. Okay, so now when finding the magnitude, it's okay we can ignore the negatives. It's okay because we know that those negatives, because we are squaring it, they are going to be cancelled. So my d is going to be equal to, so now what I'm going to do is going to be, I'm going to ignore the negatives, the same thing. So I'm going to say that 72 point, um, this is 12 and not 72. So it's 12. 0.54 12 okay so we have 12 uh, my calculator we have 12 okay we have 12 squared you can punch in and find the answer. We have 12 squared, 12.54. Now we square it. Okay. So, uh, we are getting, let me just get what is inside there, so that we should not, so I'm getting 157.2. Two five one six plus now we get that one which is going to 72 point but you can punch in direct and then you can find the answer which is going to be direct okay so to find the answer is going to be 72.28 now we square it what are we getting Okay, so I'm getting a 5,224.3984. So I can get rid of this. And now do the plus there and then we find the square root. So what we're going to have is uh, a 5,000. We start with 1,000 or 157. 0.2516 this has to be plus 52.24 then point we have 39.84 okay so this answer I'm finding I need to square it so I'm finding uh, Inside there, I'm finding 5,000, 5,381.65. I'm finding 5,000, so I'm going to say that D is going to be equal to the root of, the root of 5,000. So I'm going to get the square root of that one. So what are we going to find? Okay, so we have the square root of um, a 5,000, a 5,381.65. 
so I'm getting 73 I've just done it directly from there so you can see that the displacement the magnitude is what uh, 73.3 six meters so that is the magnitude now to find the direction before you even find the direction what we have to understand is that eh, we can now get rid of this we no longer need this so if we no longer need this then we can say that eh, we can shift the dx we put it here negative 12.54 then you have the dy which is negative 7 2.28 so I no longer need this so now what I'm going to do now is um, since I have found the dis the magnitude, we are saying that D is equal to 73.36 meters. Now to find the direction, that is the angle. Whenever we were talking about direction, it's the angle. Now, before you find the angle, you check first the sign. If the x is negative, the y is negative, meaning that the angle is supposed to be in the fourth in the third quadrant. In the third quadrant, that's where we can find that this is negative, this is negative. So if the angle falls in the th uh, third quadrant, what we do is we are going to say that uh, 300 and uh, we are going to say that 180 plus the theta which we are going to find. Okay. If you discover that the x component is positive, the y component is positive, meaning that the angle is in the first quadrant. So in the first quadrant, you just get the theta which you are going to find using this formula. Then inverse. So we are going to say that dy divided by dx. So we're going to say that this is going to be equal to tan. Then you're going to have dy is um, 72. So I'm going to ignore the negative. Then I have 12.58. So my theta is going to be shift tan, shift tan. Then I'm going to say open brackets. I have 72.58. Two eight, everything. Um, I have seven, the two point two eight, seventy two point two eight divided by twelve point five point five four, and not eight, but it's four point four. Then this has to be equal to. I'm getting eight point or oh, eighty, eighty point uh, one six degrees. So what I can do now is to find the answer. the The final dis, the final direction is going to be the one eighty. Since the angle is supposed to be in the third quadrant, in the third quadrant, the angle is one eighty plus uh, the theta, which is eighty point one six. So I'm going to say that 80.16 plus 180, which is giving me 260.2 degrees. So that is the angle for vector D. Now, let's talk more about this direction. So if you discover to say the angle, if you discover to say the x component is positive, the y is positive, Definitely the angle has to be in the first quadrant. In the first quadrant, you just get the theta. After using this formula, you just get the theta to be your answer. If the if you find that the x is negative, the y is positive, it falls in the second quadrant. In the second quadrant, that's where we can find that the x is negative, the y is, is positive. Then the angle has to, it's going to be the theta which you're going to find here. Then you say 180 minus the theta. In the third quadrant, we have talked about that. In the fourth quadrant, meaning that the x is positive, the y is negative. So what you do is 360 minus the theta, which you're going to find. That is what you need to know. So in this case, the answer is uh, 72 at an angle of uh, 260.2 degrees. Okay.